patients that have a tumor mass found in their kidney, uh, and on body scans, there's no evidence that the tumor spread beyond the kidney, uh, would be eligible to have surgical therapy to remove the entire tumor, and the hope is that that surgery is a curative surgery that the cancer does not come back. For an advanced cancer, there is a precedent and a literature supporting the idea that doing a nephrectomy surgery and taking out the primary tumor actually has a therapeutic role and patients survive longer. As they recover from that surgery, then they would be referred to medical oncology and we would talk about what would come next, what sorts of medical therapy would be the best choice for those patients to move on and treat the rest of the cancer that's been left behind after the surgery is complete. One of the unique therapies available to some patients with kidney cancer is an immune-based treatment, a drug called interleukin-2. It's a toxic drug, it's very difficult to administer, requires a hospital stay and in fact an ICU care uh, level bed in the hospital to receive interleukin-2 safely. But that drug has been associated with complete cures of some patient, complete remission. It's about 5 to 8 percent of patients treated with interleukin-2 that can have a complete loss of all signs of their cancer. There are new generation drugs, interleukin-15, interleukin-21, that are coming along for kidney cancer and being looked at, uh, and we have clinical trials open for patients with those studies. Drugs that people typically refer to as chemotherapy work very poorly for kidney cancer. So those are not commonly used. There's a new generation of immune therapy drugs that are coming available. Our clinic has been at the forefront of clinical trials of a class of drugs uh, called immune checkpoint inhibitors. Uh, for kidney cancer, these are antibodies that block a protein, proteins that find each other in the body, and that interaction turns off immune cells and prevents them from uh, attacking and eliminating uh, the tumor. Upwards of a third of patients will have their tumors shrink dramatically that receive those drugs. Half of patients or more will have their tumors at least stop growing uh, for some interval of time as long as, as six months or beyond. Mm -hmm.